the poor children are welcomed into the city of the boys. In this little city, under the care of the priests and brothers, the children are raised in a holy atmosphere, study in the school of the city, learn various trades, and come to be well-formed young men. The missionary fathers also welcome boys who feel called by God to give themselves to priesthood. In the city of the boys, St. Tercisius, they deepen their formation and vocation in the minor seminary which the movement has initiated. The youths who offer themselves as priests or brothers in the movement come from various parts of the world. It is not an easy decision, but it is full of happiness. Before I came to the movement, I thought that, what, that my life was kind of like the, the rich young man of the gospel, that he ran into Jesus and he asked him about eternal life, and the answer that Jesus gave to this young man was that he should sell everything and give it to the poor and that he will have a treasure in heaven. And I thought that that was too much. Give up everything, you know, my projects, my own mentality, my own language, everything to give it up and just give it to the poor. But then I really understood as soon as I came here to Peru that uh, the, the Word of God is beautiful and that He was calling me to serve the poor. Because when you give up everything, then you give Jesus the opportunity to feel your life, to be the master of your life, and also to, um, you become kind of an instrument of His love to serve the poor. When I came to Peru, I expected to give a lot, obviously. But what you find is that just working with the kids and working with the poor, you're, uh, you're giving a lot more than you can give. So just making the, the kids happy, really, giving them a childhood they probably wouldn't have had if you, if you hadn't come. To serve the others gives meaning to your own life. It leads you to consider life useful and worthwhile. The youths that feel the call to this life as a missionary of the servants of the poor of the third world require a period of formation. This time is spent in Spain, in Ajofrin. In our house of priestly formation in Spain, our seminarians undergo six years of studies, two years of philosophy, and four of theology. These studies precisely follow the teachings of the Church for the formation of priests, and this formation is not only intellectual but is also a preparation for the community life, with frequent prayer, which will help them develop the same qualities as Jesus Christ, so that they may bring His presence to the poor. Nobody is able to give that which they don't have. So if we in our charism aspire to give these children, these poor, their proper dignity as human beings, and a wholesome and complete formation, we ourselves must be well formed. If Jesus, as God, wanted to spend 30 years basically hidden in Nazareth to prepare himself for his mission of three years, we should at least spend some years forming ourselves as well, in order to live out this presence of Christ among the poor.